Can I go? Okay. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Raising Bright Children Facebook Live. Those of you who are joined us live, thank you. We appreciate your support. And those of you who are going to be watching the replay, we know that you'll enjoy it, and thank you as well. Today I have two guest speakers, Rick and Angela Blessy from St. Paul, Minnesota. They're grandparents and they are children's authors. Um, so far they have written two books, A Fun Day with Grandpa and A Fun Day with Grandma and More in the Making. They have a, uh, these books are personalized books. In fact, uh, they're personalized in a very unique way. In fact, there is nothing like them on the market and they're going to explain those uh, different ways that they have personalized the books. But the story behind the inspiration of how they got started with these books is very charming and very heartwarming. And it all started with a little boy. So I'm going to turn the time over to Rick and Angela. And welcome, Rick and Angela. Thank you for joining us. They're way back in Minnesota, and we're way back here um, in Utah. So thank you for joining us. They have a wonderful story. I'll turn the time over to them. Thanks, Charlene. We appreciate it. And Good morning. Yeah, this is Angela, and this is Rick. And we're sitting in St. Paul, Minnesota, and we got up this morning with zero degrees outside, so it's pretty cool up here. So um, what we're going to try and do is take everybody through how we wrote this book and why we wrote it. And I think the main thing we wanted to say at the very beginning is it's an extremely different type of children's book. Um, it, it's very interactive, and it does things uh, between an adult and a young child that is, just makes it different. And, and Angela had a comment to make about uh, some of the things we've said about it. Well, basically, it's 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 a memory making experience, and and we want all grandparents and grandchildren to make a connection and to make the memories. And this is this is it. This is a book that you've never read before, and we're excited to share our story with right. you. So, what we're going to try and do is explain how we started this whole process, which was kind of, uh, as Charlene mentioned, kind of very different. Um, we basically have a, have one grandson, and he lives down in Madison, Wisconsin, and we basically uh, have been down there about two and a half, three years ago to visit with him. And he was two and a half years old at the time. And we had a great time, but we knew when we left there, we would not see him again for another three or four months because we usually drive down to have a visit. Um, anyways, when we left that day, I'm gonna have Angela explain this a little bit. When we left, we felt kind of sad because we had a real fun time with him. He's two and a half, he was old enough to be a you know little boy. And we thought he's not gonna remember who we are. So I'm going to let Angela explain a little bit about how in the discussion on the way back in the car what happened. Well, I, I, I mentioned to Rick, I said, you know, the whole thing is we can connect, we can have fun, but when we leave, is he going to remember exactly which set of grandparents we are? He has tons of relatives, three sets of grandparents, and it, it's all wonderful. So I thought maybe if we did something with our faces to create a face sticker, it would be all facial recognition so he would know which one Grammy Angela is in which one Grandpa Rico is. So on the drive home, we we brainstormed, had a good time with it, basically um, came home and did some mock books and uh, created little stickers of Beckett's face, our faces, and mailed it to him. Well, he was so excited to get that, our package and basically um, took our face stickers along with his and put them all up and down his arms and took us to school the next day mm -hmm. to share his grandparents. So that... A light bulb went off. We thought, this is it. Kids need facial recognition and things to interact with the grandparents. Okay. So we went out, actually, after we kind of did this, we, we made a couple trial books, and we went and bought some Avery forms, which people probably know what they are, and uh, we printed some circles up, and, and it was not easy to do, but um, what we found was that there was nobody else out there that had a book like this. Um, there's a lot of personalized books. People call them personalized for young children. But what they basically are is they have the children's name in the book. So, so what they do is they, you know, read a story and they say, hey, Ben or Sally or whatever the name is. But little kids don't recognize words. They might recognize their name, but they don't recognize words. Whereas here, when we use stickers, which we're going to show next, um, and you let the children put the stickers into the book with the adult, it makes a huge, huge difference difference. So there's a picture here that Marcus put up that's basically pictures of the sticker sheets that we provide. And I'm going to hold a couple of these up. Uh, these are just a couple here you can see from our side. Uh, we print these stickers out ourselves, ourselves and basically you get 36 stickers on each page and they're peel and stick so that a child or an adult with a child can help peel the stickers off very easily to put them in the book. 
Um, when we started this process, we needed to figure out how we're going to, you know, make some illustrations because we wanted to do a very colorful book for young kids. And Charlene and I, we, we were talking about this earlier. She made a comment about the fact that um, uh, young kids like bright colors. So we found a gentleman, his name is Kyle Fredrickson, and he is actually the illustrator and the uh, head art teacher in White Bear Lake Schools where we live in this area. And he teaches young kids art. So he knows what they like, he knows the kind of uh, illustrations they like, and he actually worked with us to develop a lot of the pictures and the illustrations. So it, it was very difficult in terms of the fact it took a long time to go through how we created the book. And what we wanted was something simple that young kids would enjoy doing, and then something that they could do with the stickers and pull the stickers up and with the book together with an adult and interact together. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that in a second, why that's so important. So here's, here's a book with Grandpa and the grandson face stickers on them. The books actually come, come blank, but we want you to interact and put right. your own faces right. together. So we started off with grandparent books because we believe there's a lot of grandparents and they're close to their grandkids but they may not live close by uh they may, may live uh, you know three miles away or they may, may live three thousand miles away but we think there's a lot of need for grandparents to interact with their grandchildren and especially when kids are young they've got so many activities and they're just so busy that that was the focus of what we tried to do we're going to try and extend this into other family members because we think aunts and uncles and there's a lot of other things moms and dads could use this concept. Mm -hmm. but, but we started off with this as a, uh, yeah, as basically a grandparent's book. So um, the biggest thing with stickers is kids love them and they really like them. So maybe we could flip to the next one, Mark, and I can talk a little bit about uh, an article that we had that kind of uh, speaks to confirming some of these thoughts we had. The Children's Writers Guild, which is an online uh, magazine and what they do is they devote their time and their energies to promoting authors that write children's books and they had a, an article here i'll just hold this up again real quickly uh, this is how it appears in the website but what it talks about is the whole concept on their website about why it's important for young kids to connect with family members because if you don't do a shared activity with a young child, if you don't do something, like you just watch them play or you watch TV with them, you're really not doing something they're going to remember. But if you can do, like the sticker books here, and actually read a story, talk about things, and have them put the stickers in the book of grandpa or grandma and themselves, they're going to remember that for a long, long time. Yeah. I don't know if you have anything to add about that. But well, going along with that... Um the editor and the owner of the Children's Writers Guild, when she saw our um, our website and our article, she just fell in love with it. She fell in love with the fact that we use um, in our communication the word yester times. And the word yester times comes yeah. from a holiday visit with Beckett. He was so excited because he we always do interactive things when we, we visit. So we are having a good time. He wanted to share with me all these things that we had formerly done on our last visit. And he, the words didn't come out fast enough. So he goes, Grammy, Grammy, remember yesterday? And I thought, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. That is kind of our, our motto now about spending time and quality time with our grandkids. Right. So um, anyways, that was a very interesting article. You can see it at the Children's Writers Guild, but it did talk about this concept. And uh, there's a lot of children's books out there, but this one well, we think is very different. So maybe we could go to the next picture and show our grandson. This is Beckett, and he's holding a picture of our book. Um, he was younger than this when we first created the book, and he, we did a lot of test books with him. He stuck a lot of stickers in. It was kind of fun because we'd send different ideas, and his parents would try these things, and uh, we, he was kind of our book tester, if you could see mm -hmm. it that way. Um, so let's next go to some of the pictures we ha actually have. So this is a picture in the grandparent book, the grandfather book. And it shows Grandpa getting up in the morning and yawning and stretching. And as you can see from that picture, there's a round circle that says Grandpa sticker in the middle of it. And then the other circle is green. It says Grandchild sticker. Um, so the idea is, again, you can tell a story. And, and we take each page and try and make it its own story. So we're trying to tell, talk of events and things that you do with a grandparent that are typical activities that most kids have done. So um, if we go to, go to the next picture, that shows a rocket ship. Uh, we tell a story about going to the moon with Grandpa. 
And again, uh, kids like rockets like this, but you can see from the colors, we used a lot of very, very colorful colors and, and primary colors that made it very interesting. Um, let's go to the next one, which is the sticker playground. So one of the things we thought we should do in the book, and we do in both books, is create a sticker playground that um, the child and the grandparent or the adult, and by the way, it doesn't have to be just a grandparent reading the book and be a mom or a dad reading about grandpa or grandma with the kid. And the idea being that they put stickers on and They can be a cowboy. They can be a hockey player. Uh, we've got these different ones. And, and what's interesting about this, we had one customer that, whose daughter was like four, four years old and she was just learning to play hockey. And they called us up and told us that when she saw that picture of the hockey player, she got so excited that she could put her picture on the hockey player because she played hockey. So it was really, really neat. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, a lot of these books, the idea is that we're trying to develop communication skills with little, ki little kids, little children and toddlers and pre preschoolers learn the art of conversation, learn how to interact. And additionally, because the books are fairly simple in how they're written in terms of the, the words, they, I don't want to say they learn how to read, but it gives them early reading experiences. And so that fits in a lot with what parents are trying to do to show them early literacy and trying to get them to understand some of the things they're doing. Well, also, so, 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 yeah. one of the things yeah, I was just going to say is it really, really encourages children that they play. Exactly. Right. Um, I'm trying to find here. I've got a. I've got one quick quote I wanted to read from a customer, and and this this was directly from them. It was a, a grandmother, and she said, "I'm just going to make this quick here." But I was visiting our 18 month old grandson, and we read the book and applied our face stickers on the pages. Our grandson kept saying, "Grandma, read more, please." During a two-week visit, he asked me to read this book to him over and over again every day. Uh, I must have read the book about a hundred times. <laughs> I really enjoyed the questions in the book and that my grandson knew when the questions would be asked. He would just wait for me to ask him and tell me the answers. And to me, that just shows how interactive it is. It's, that's the thing we're trying to promote with the book. So. And another thing is that parents need to be aware of is that when the child asks for a book to be read over and over again, there is something in that book that speaks to the heart and soul of the child. And even though it may be tiresome for the parent, you still want to read that book to them because there is something that's very powerful. So that's a powerful statement. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thanks. So, let's, Mark, let's go to the next one, which is the, uh, I think it's the grandma book coming up here. So we did the grandpa book, and then we decided, well, grandma needed a book, right? So we came up with a fun day with grandma, and the stories and, and the pages are different, uh, the different things that we do in there. Maybe we can go to the next picture, which actually shows I think it's a picture of painting. So there's grandma uh, with a, a painting board and a grandchild. Now, one of the things we also tried to do, I'm going to put this out there right now, but we tried to make these books um, ethnically neutral and the gender neutral so the, the child here could be a little boy or a little girl and kids at that age don't care they just want to put stickers on the faces and we tried to make this usable by anybody so the other thing we did is as you can see at the bottom of that page what's your favorite color it's to elicit an interaction with the child and get them to contribute to building the story and, and our intent is that when people look at these pages they can talk about all kinds of things colors and you know, what do you like to paint and, uh, you know, what color is the sky? So that every page becomes a story unto itself. Okay. And we also might add on that. No, the fact that Beckett is a little artist is exciting. And he has um, two grandmas that are artists. So this picture is perfect yeah. for our book. Yeah. So we could go to the next one and show the fact that um, we're doing bubbles in the park. So here again, there are a lot of colors and they're uh, standing there and blowing bubbles. I'm sure a lot of grandparents or parents have done that. And uh, it just kind of uh, is another activity that people do with children. Well, and I'm going to just interject. Even if they haven't done one of the activities in the book, it doesn't mean they need to turn the page. It means they just be creative and go, go give it a try. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's go to the next one. This is the sticker playground for the grandma book. There's actually two pages. This is just one of the two pages. But, again, you know, very... Um, kind of I don't know, simple things that people can be a skunk or a giraffe or a flower, but kids really like these kinds of things. So it makes it really fun with especially a 
two to three year old, they just love these kinds of concepts. Well, and the other, yeah. the other yep. thing I was going to interject here is you have animals, and if you study children's literature, a lot of books, uh, they have animals, and it's like children in little fur coats. So when they do mischievous things, it's less threatening uh, to the child to see an animal doing it. And for them to become the animal and to do these things is incredible imaginative play. Love this concept. Love this idea. Thank you. Um, so the, I think we can kind of uh, explain a little bit how you get the book and what it costs. So maybe we can go to the next picture, which is just a, a page in our book or one of the pages at the very end about I Love You. Um, the books cost $19.95, $19.95. And with that price, you get the book, you get um, uh, two pages of stickers. We showed those earlier, but there's 36 stickers on each page, so a total of 72 stickers. And then we also ship, I'm just going to reach over here because there's extra stickers when you complete putting the stickers in the book. It's a thinking of you card. And basically, it's, it's a card you can leave with the grandchild or with the grandparent that after you have the reading activity and somebody goes home, you can actually put this in the mail to them with more stickers and say, what did you do today? So it's just another use of the stickers to kind of keep you involved with them. So, um, darling, darling idea. So and basically, the book is nineteen ninety five. The shipping and handling is four ninety five. And uh, then there's tax. Minnesota, they do charge tax if we go out of state. There's no tax. And when you do that, you go to the website, you go to the order page, and it's very simple. You take, either take a picture, or if you have pictures on your phone, on your computer, or on a tablet, there's two, two circles. And what you do is you actually put your picture in the, each of the circles, picture of the grandparent and a picture of the grandchild, and you size this picture inside the circle so you get the circle around the head, and that's it. And then you um, send, Huh? Well, you actually upload the pictures to us. When we get it, we take care of everything else. We make the stickers. We put it in a, in a mailing, a really stiff, good mailing envelope, and mail everything out. So, so it's all included in that price. And we talk to people. I'll tell you about these other personalized books. They're kind of nice, but they're not like this because this is something that's interactive and really involving. Well, I kind of call it a time capsule because. The grandparents' photos will never age, but the grandchildren will. So we can even update them on their birthday every year. Just change the sticker out. Right. I also wanted to share another thing. We talked about the, the bold, the beautiful, the bright colors. Our illustrator was so is so creative. Like if you look at the back of the grandma book. Can you see the front of the book? And then the back of the book, he carries the theme throughout the whole page. Clever. Clever, Very, clever. The grandpa book is a similar. It's like the beginning is there. There's the elephant, and you turn it around, and there's the elephant with the monkey on the back. On the back. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. creativity. Is, he started yeah. us off wonderfully. So, in the one last thing, I think we can close this out on our end. But one last thing, we do have a short video that's on our website that if people don't know how to do the pictures, it shows. It shows if you get a picture, get this, do this, and it shows how to actually do it. Uh, and and um, I just want to add, I'm going to quote Lisa. Charlene. In her time law, her words were impeccable. And the one here is warm to my heart. She says, if you are a grandparent, these are picture-perfect gifts for your grandkids. If you are a parent looking for a unique book to connect your children to their grandparents, look no further. This is the book series you've been waiting for. And I thank you for that. We yeah. thank you for that. Yeah. So the last comment we would make, as, as we say this, we help families stick together. So we think that's a good <laughs> byline. We help families stick together, and we mean it both sides, either helping with the stickers or sticking together. As we are sticking with yeah. family. <laughs> <laughs> Put up the next one, so Yeah. So this is our website, and um, that's our, our logo, uh, sticking with family. And again, our intent is to develop more books down the line, but right now, um, if you go to that website, you can actually see everything we've talked about and there's there's videos and there's samples of the pictures of what they look like and samples of the book pages so you get a real good idea of what it's all about. So that's the best way to really check it out. You can go to the website and, and look at things. 
This is fabulous. Um, and especially in the 21st century when so many parents and, and kids and everything are in upheaval, this is a great way. And I love your idea of the, the whole concept is behind sticking with family. That is so important. At the end of the day, what's the most important thing uh, is our family and how we can connect, how we can interact, how we can get closer together. Angela and Rick, thank you. These are fabulous. Um, People, there's the uh, URL address there, the HTTPS. Uh, go on their website, order these books. If you're a parent, uh, you can read them with your children. Uh, if you're a grandparent, you can read them with your grandchildren. Whatever you are, uh, these are. And I love the fact that um, these, the colors and the illustrations are so bold and bright and beautiful. Your children will love them. And one person, Vanessa Wood, um, I have to make a comment. She's been making wonderful. Uh, comments uh, as we've been talking here today. Uh, Vanessa, you sound like an educator, and thank you so much for your comments. We appreciate it. For those of you who were, again, those of you who are able to watch this live, thank you for coming. Thank you for your support. It will be, uh, it has been recorded, and we will uh, post it on the Facebook page, um, Raising Bright Children, as soon as this is over. Again, thank you, uh, Rick and Angela. Stay warm in Minnesota, and uh, uh, thank you for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you very Sharon. much we for having it. us. Thanks Thank so you. much. Oh, bye. All right. Bye bye.